Hey everyone, it's the infamous Dr. Q here, and this is Assassin's Creed 3, Sequence 9, Memory 4, A Bitter End. 100% synchronization is going to require a few things on this one, namely that you don't wreck the boat for a set period of time. You're limited to 20% environmental damage. So be careful around the uh, corners, make sure you're dropping down to um, half sail, or in some some parts where you're chasing the schooner later on, you'll want to go to full stop and sort of hit the brakes a bit. But you need to obviously not wreck the boat, and you need to be uh, stay within 500 meters of this schooner when you're chasing it. Which, it isn't all that difficult, I didn't find. I mean, I got it on my first try, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky. But, I mean, I've barely spent any time with the uh, with the boats in this game so far. So. Alright, so we're sailing up to this guy. And when you get closer to the boat, it triggers a cutscene, then you're chasing some shit. Bring us in for a closer look, son. So while you're uh, while you're chasing the schooner, there are going to be a bunch of um, rogue winds that'll push you around. So you gotta gotta be mindful of those. And it does take a while for this boat to gain on you. So. Don't be afraid to go to, to full stop if it's going to keep you from wrecking. So you like how your first mate or whatever the hell he is is just constantly berating you for your for your seafaring abilities. Actually, I don't like that. I kind of hate it. I thought it was really fucking annoying. Can the ship go no faster? Bend them all, full sail. Slow it down. All everything in. Fucking dudes never heard of the hundred percent synchronization. That's for sure. But really, it is kind of dickish of Ubisoft to, you know, have one requirement be like, okay, navigate the boat carefully, but also do it really quickly. I do, I do almost crash it right here. I think. So here's where I go to full stop and I'm like jamming on the brakes. Where was it? I remember being really close to wrecking at one point during this. Oh yeah, it's right, it's right here, I think. That was not close. So the requirements are blue, so that means they don't have to worry about that shit anymore. And then uh, a little naval battle ensues. You gotta cripple this boat's mast. And then you have to board the boat and kill all the officers. But you also have to string together a uh, kill streak with a minimum of three. Which is actually kind of a pain in the ass, and I had to reload uh, the checkpoint a number of times. But um, the main reason I was having trouble with it is because it doesn't give you a weapon other than the hidden blade to start out with, which doesn't seem to work very well with uh, getting kill streaks against these guys. So, um, I need to get the load first thing I'm going to do is kill this dude and take his weapon.
Do they just tend to spread out? See, like I had it, I had like two going there, but then the other guy was too far away. So here I got three guys really close together. One, two, and three. So just let them bunch up around you and make sure you pick up a weapon because it does seem to make it easier. And this dude's trying to run away. No dice, buddy. So that's 100% synchronization on this one.